What's going on you guys and welcome back to a different perspective if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy So celebrity got a new post. She's back on Facebook y'all Facebook let her back on for all the haters They keep trying to deplatform this woman leave her the heck alone What does that say about you mind your business if you don't like her stop looking at her stuff? How stupid are you come on now go be about your business go find something else to do maybe get yourself a hobby you know, it makes a little bit more sense to me. But anyway, we're about to do a blind reaction because I don't know what this is. She posted something on Facebook and um, on a group too. And the, the admin of the group wasn't too fond of it. So they went on ahead and <laughs> removed her and blocked her from that group like a lot of groups do. Nonetheless, we got something here and it makes for some good content. Y'all ready? So somebody else actually posted this and it starts with, Y'all, I saw this ish on another group, and I was on the ground crying over the comments. I don't know why the game posted this pic. They guilty as hell. All of them have many actual assault allegations. She says, I believe the women, all their stories match. All of them can't be lying. She don't even know how to dang on use punctuations and stuff. These men hate rejection. I can't wait until they get them off the street and behind bars. <laughs> So that's her answer. Instead of making men better, she said they all should be behind bars. That's only gonna make the situation worse, right? You gotta think, you're putting a fathers behind bars and how them kids gonna grow to be being raised by your knucklehead at, you know what? Sad part is they have kids. Exactly, what, what you saying? Putting them behind bars. The worst parenting examples Let's name their album. I'll start the grape album. She's so looking at this image of all these men here. Now, it's already been proven that with Trey Songs, that woman, the most recent case, this woman is, is fibbing, lying on him because he has audio proof that she was wanting to hang out with him on multiple occasions. So if her allegations was true, she would not have been wanting to hang out with him. I was listening to a celebrity's um, podcast because she, you know, she got a YouTube channel where she's been chiming in and, and having necessary conversations around some of the stuff that she posts. I highly suggest y'all check it out. It's a celebrity podcast, great, great channel on YouTube. She's been posting a lot more consistently lately, and she be doing little live streams and, and getting on with viewers and, and having the conversations. I'm gonna have to get on her. I'm gonna have to get on with her one of these days as well. Um, probably when I get back in town, about to be gone for a couple of weeks, but. She was saying, and it makes so much sense, she was like, a lot of these allegations that these young girls be putting on these celebrities, these rappers, these um, athletes and stuff, a lot of the times they do it knowing darn well that these guys don't have time to go to court, so they just gonna pay it out. They're like, oh, what, what does she want? She want, what, uh, $200,000? All right, let me just give her this because I, I'm on tour right now. I can't just be going to these court dates and stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and pay her in the civil court, whichever one it is, and, and just be done with it. So a lot of times these young ladies will do these false claims, these false grape allegations against these celebrities so that they can get that bag. So messed up, so unfortunate. And you got celebrities, if you calculate all the celebrities in the world, all the men, and they're probably dishing out millions of dollars a year because of stuff like this. But um, it needs to stop. And these women need to be held accountable. Part of the reason why you'll see some of these guys be like, oh yeah, you can't have your cell phone when you're hanging out with me. You can't do this, you can't do that. You know, they have them sign little N NBAs, NBAs, whatever the heck they call. But um, yeah, let's go on to the next screen. Somebody responded here, convicted. And this person responds, yeah, sis, just game and Trey got the allegations, but I hear you. I don't know anything about Ray J having no allegations. Um, then she responds, the girl that initially posted this, she's like, it's only a matter of time before he gets caught up. He left his wife. Karma is coming. She is wishing bad upon Ray J. This man out here trying to sell some headphones, man. He, he doing good right now. Leave him alone. Like when haters hate, partially it has to do with the fact that they themselves aren't amounting to much in life. All right, now we get to the juicy stuff. Celebrity that came up in here. She responds, I remember you. You was in a group with me years back. I remember a few guys that said you met up with them. It was four guys saying it. I remember they exposed you for messing with all of them and you left the group. 
<laughs> she out here talking and she was out here for the streets. She says, Daphne, you don't know me. I know you effing lying. <laughs> I ain't messing with no men from no groups. 304, you got me confused with your mama. <laughs> she must not know Daphne well enough. Daphne will pull up some information on you before, before she even responds to the message you put out so that she know for a fact she got who she talking to. Daphne probably did that with her. What Daphne says, dang, you mad. It was four men. All of them can't be lying. I believe them. <laughs> ah, she clouded this girl right now. Oh, man. So, Daphne, so the girl responds back with this mess. He says, you mean you believe rumors? I know it didn't happen. I ain't never messed with a Dusty from an effing group. You can believe them all you want. Since you that receipt police post, that proof of 304, I'll wait. What? <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Look, look, yeah, this is my first time seeing this, so this is entertaining to me. This is very entertaining. All right, Daphne says, they didn't share the messages and pics. If they did, <laughs> I would have it, duh. All of them said the same thing. Again, they can't be lying. The girl responds back with a bunch of laughing emojis. She's just like, just like I thought. Hey, wait, wait, let's go back for a second, because I'm sure some of y'all was thinking the same thing I was thinking. Just like Daphne said that she believed the rumors, this chick gonna be like, oh, so you believe in rumors now? Well, I mean, you said you believe the rumors of all the girls that put allegations against them celebrities. Trey Songs in the game and all them, you believe those rumors? <sighs> crazy, 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 crazy. But anyway, she says, just like I thought, I thought you was accountability queen. And here you are effing up. <laughs> you believe Dusty's with no receipts and no proof? Just their stories. That could have been rehearsed and made up to make me look bad. Damn, since you tried and you failed this time, I bet you won't post this on your timeline, huh? <laughs> well, here it is. <laughs> Reviewing it. And this is the words, this is the famous words that I was looking for. Hey, y'all, look, I ordered one of her. <laughs> I figured you would say that shirts. It's on the way. I can't wait to get here. Y'all gonna see, I'm gonna be wearing that shirt. Every time I do a celebrity video, man, y'all go to her Instagram and check it out so y'all can order one for yourself. She says her famous words. I figured you would say that. You claim that Game and Trey was guilty without proof and without receipt. You state that you believe a few women based off their stories too, right? You even said that Ray J was accused of actual assault and that is false. Now you're coming at me for doing to you what you were trying to do to those three black men. You don't like it when lies are spread about you with no proof, huh? Until they're charged and convicted. They're innocent, period. Now, as the F up the girl responds back, Daphne, until that time, you will be silenced in this group. Now what? That was her response. The lack of accountability. Oh my God. It was so bad that she didn't even have nothing to say, but oh, we just going to silence you in this group. It's a shame that the, the good people, when it's clear as day, the people that everyone sides with, be the ones that get kicked out of the toxic groups. A lot of these groups be toxic, toxic as hell. Look at this. You can't post on this comment group. Look, the admin has temporarily turned off your ability to post or comment in this group until April the 15th. They done silenced her. For what? She did nothing wrong. Now, Daphne could have easily made up that story. Easily made up that story about the four men. What that young lady failed to understand was just like she was so quick to believe the rumors of some women putting out false allegations of getting some of these celebrities. There were people that were willing to believe that this girl was a 304 for real. But here it is, the proof is in the pudding. And she didn't get it, she didn't understand. She failed the assignment. She didn't understand the assignment. But y'all leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. 
Y'all know what time it is. Like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for more. As always, you can follow Celebrity and I on the gram at Twitter. You'll see it linked everywhere. But with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.